Yo, check it out. About to give my review of the new Slicker anti-hair t-shirt, the shop tee. Just got it in yesterday. Worked a half day already. It's about to be lunchtime. And I can honestly say so far, I'm loving the shirt. Like I think the fit, the fit is exactly where I like it. Kind of loose, not too tight. The material is, is really comfortable. Almost feels like that dry fit type material. I think they came out with some pretty, pretty dope colorways. Um, I know they came out with this copper color and more of a lighter, a lighter color, which is pretty dope. And I'm probably gonna get one, man, because so far I've been cutting with it all day and hair easily brushes off. I've been blowing the hair off of me all day and there's no hair sticking to me. That's probably the worst part is when you work a long day and maybe you need to go out somewhere for lunch or somewhere directly after work, you have hair all over you. But so far, no issue with this. The real question will obviously be the durability of the t-shirt and the wear and tear of the t-shirt. But so far, I'm loving it, man. Slicker did a really great job with this tee. Uh, they're more known for their, their rigs, their vests. Uh, which are really dope i recommend you checking them out and yeah man slicker good job guys yo what's good we are taking a little walk to the dollar store and i get a couple of snacks for my lunch pie accounting uh tabitha challenged me to eat out a little less spend less money at least my quick answer to this is to instead of opting for fast food for a 20 15 meal a day I'm gonna try to go to the dollar store and at least get enough snacks to at least satisfy my hunger for, for lunch. And I can get away with it honestly on $5 and I'll still be able to hit my macros that I'm trying to hit. I realize that when I track my food, I'm not getting even half the amount of protein I should be getting. I'm trying to be better. So that is my quick way to start saving more money and also start hitting my, my nutrition goals. I know we're really caught up in this hustle culture, this grind culture. And to be honest, it can be it can be overwhelming sometimes. It can be a bit of a burnout. You know, some days uh, you're gonna be in the mood and you can cut through your lunch breaks, some weeks for stretches and you can just really push it. But I will say for me, at least as long as I've been cutting in the 13 years that I've been cutting, just to get at least that 30 minutes of break time and trying to prioritize at least stepping out of my studio for a little bit, get some sun and I can get a little walk. Sometimes that little break, just to break up your day a little bit, kind of catch your breath, kind of check in with yourself is, it makes the biggest difference. And then I can power through, finish the day strong and whatever it takes for you to get through the day, whatever it takes for you to run optimally and efficiently, I think it's important to pay attention to that because not everybody has the same drive, not everybody has the same battery. So don't get caught up in what everyone else is doing. Really think about what works for you. Sweet hot. Got my trail mix first. I love getting these. These are fire, if you don't know. And then I've been switching up and getting some jerky. So I usually do three. Let's mix it up today and we'll get a, we'll get four today. You need to be better about this, but it's important to do that self-reflection and really check in on if you follow through with what you say you're gonna do. I was talking to one of my clients and we talked about how what really gets him going is following through with what he says he's gonna do. That's the most important thing to him. That's what builds that character. That's what keeps that integrity. And when you don't follow through with the things that you say you're gonna do, uh, it's really easy to fall off track. So yeah, I was having that conversation earlier with one of my clients. He's a younger client, but um, He's just really driven and he has this uh, really strong ability to make sales and really communicate with people. So I don't know why, but I just went on this tangent of asking him questions on, you know, what really, what really pushes him, what really drives him, what really drives him. And he talked about, he just loves winning. He's addicted to winning. He's addicted to being in the top percentage of whatever it is that he's doing. And what really keeps him pushing forward is following through with what he says he's gonna do. And I think I can really resonate with that. You know, that's one thing that can really build you up. Especially, it's really important that you're doing these things when nobody's watching. 
because we can talk about all these things. We can tell everybody, tell your mom, your dad, your brother, all the things that you're doing. But if you're not following through with these daily activities, these daily actions, these daily disciplines that you're talking about, if you don't have that integrity with yourself, if you're not following through, and you know you're not following through, I think it's extremely important to be honest with yourself, to be accountable and honestly have that ownership of your life, of your actions. And the more you start to own those, have ownership of your actions, of your life, and not be one of those people that blame everyone or blames things for why your life is the way that it is, it's amazing how quickly your life starts to change.